in today's video we will be seeing the section formula in coordinate geometry with the help of some examples in our previous video we have seen the distance formula uh, how to calculate the distance between the two points using the distance formula today we will see the section formula so let us take two points a and b suppose this is point a and we have a point b the coordinates of point a b say x1 and y1 and the coordinates of point b b x2 and y2 the line joining a b <coughs> is divided by a point c say in the ratio m is to n so they mean that the ratio of ac is to cb ratio is m is to n yeah or you can write it as m is to n our aim here is to find the coordinates of point c okay so let the coordinates of point c be x and y i will not be going into proving the section formula i'll just tell you the section formula directly here and then we will do some examples based on the section formula proving the section formula is not that important at this point so the section formula says that the x coordinate of a point which divides the line in the ratio m is to n is m into x2 m this is m and it is multiplied by the x coordinate x2 plus n it is multiplied to this x coordinate x n x1 divided by the sum of m and n <clears throat> and similarly the y coordinate is given as m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n okay this gives the coordinates of the point c which is dividing the line ab in the ratio m is to n so the x coordinate is mx2 plus nx1 over m plus n and the y coordinate is my2 plus ny1 over m plus n this is called the section formula and we use it to find the coordinates of this point of division always remember whenever such question come please draw a line write the coordinates the <clears throat> ratio on this side will be multiplied to the x and y coordinate on the opposite side and the ratio on this side will be multiplied to the x and y coordinate on the opposite side okay so let us quickly take an example suppose there is a line joining um, a line joining point a whose coordinate is 4 and negative 3 and point b whose coordinates are 8 and 5 is divided by a point c okay in the ratio say 3 is to 1 internally internally meaning the point is lying on the line itself the point of division is on the line we have to find the coordinates of c okay so let us quickly draw the line ab let us write the coordinates of a here it's 4 and minus 3 and the coordinates of b are 8 and 5 okay now point c it is dividing it in the ratio 3 is to 1 let the coordinates of c be x and y now we need to find the value of x and the value of y now x will be we know that this particular antecedent the first part of the ratio multiplied to this x coordinate so 3 into 8 plus this part of the ratio multiplied to this x coordinate so 1 into 4 and divided by the sum of the 
ratios which is 3 plus 1. So it gives you to 8 threes are 24. 24 plus 4, 28 divided by 4 which is nothing but 7. And similarly the y coordinate can be figured out. 3 multiplied by y coordinate of the opposite side plus 1 multiplied by the y coordinate of opposite side divided by the sum of 3 and 1. So we get 15 minus 3 over 4 which is 12 over 4 and which gives us a 3. So the coordinates of C by section formula is figured out as 7 comma 3. Okay, so that is the required point. So whenever a line segment is given and it's the coordinates of the two end points are given and the ratio in which the line is getting divided is also given, then we can find the coordinate of the coordinates of the point of division using the section formula. One more different kind of example. In what ratio? is the line joining joining the point A which is minus 6, 10 and point B which is 3 minus 8 is divided by the point C which is negative 4, 6. We have to find in this case instead of coordinates of the point of division we have to find the ratio in which this particular point is dividing the line. Now whenever this kind of question come an important thing which we have to remember here is let us first mark the points and there is a point C here which is dividing it in some ratio the coordinates of point C are 4 comma 6. So the important thing here is instead of taking the ratio as m is to n in such questions because uh, you can take the ratio as k is to 1. If you take the ratio as m into m is to n the question will become very complicated and it will be a very lengthy solution. Let us see how do we get the ratio of division by using it as k is to 1. So according to the section formula the x coordinate of point C will be equal to the x coordinate of point C is minus 4. This is the x coordinate. So this will be equal to this k multiplied by this x coordinate of the opposite side. So k into 3 is 3k plus this 1 multiplied by the opposite x coordinate. So 1 into negative 6 divided by the sum of k and 1. Correct? So we get minus 4 is equal to 3k minus 6 over k plus 1. We will cross multiply. So this gives us minus 4 into k plus 1 is equal to 3k minus 6. Please remember that when you multiply minus 4 it will get distributed to both the terms in the bracket to give you minus 4k and minus 4 is equal to 3k minus 6. Okay? And on transposition we get 2 is equal to 7k or it this gives k as 7 over 2. Okay, so we have got the value of 7 over 2. What does this mean? This means that the point C is dividing the line in the ratio 7 by 2 is to 1. And what is 7 by 2 is to 1? Let us see here. 7 by 2 is to 1 is nothing but 7 by 2 whole over 1 which is nothing but 7 is to 2. Okay, so either you say the ratio as 7 by 2 is to 1 or you say the ratio as 7 is to 2. It's one and the same thing. So if k is 7 over 2 then we can say that point C divides AB in the ratio 7 is to 2. So whatever fractional value of k you are getting, okay, whatever fractional value of k you are getting, that will become the ratio in which the line is getting divided. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So if you have any questions regarding the section formula, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. And if you have liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe at 
my channel math academy on the link given below thank you